Celia Brobe, she's a nice person though. Though I haven't met her in person, but she's a nice person. I've been watching her movies. Uh, I think I've been watching her movies um, for a long time and I see she, she's cool and um, the way she talks and the way, the way she behaves, I think she, she's cool. She's very creative. That as much as I see, he's very creative. Like she, when she's acting, she's very serious and conscious. Like, yeah. And I will hey na nishu no kura. Head the chain shubia. Nse no one nishu na me kura me to me nye nishu a me to nishu bia. Emilia nishu na na me ji because first na me ji nishu nishu be brave. Me say me bo nishu ni bidi. Na onko be say say me ji Emilia di ane di. E ko ma yesu nye ska nye profit. I was so, and I am better now. I'm to say what you have better. Let me hone it. First time she and we said, "Oh, you're very nice." And then what's in the name of Boadi? And I said, "Can any actor in any movies in here? Dear, dear. Oh, you be able to play the movies, pa. Or actor my own side in here real. Why should you crank and say movies? Be million dear, me nyano. Now give me your message. A million dear, me nijeno pa. Me nijeno home. They say, "Crank and say, 'Sabre, you should, you should play the movie.' Me nijeno, you should, you should add." The movie is so yummy. Fair or a movie or a kid to say they are doing it real. Until mommy can dance them or brand new ones or you're kind to every person. I feel like I'm invading some sort of privacy, but check Emilia out. It's not it's not easy to make money, huh? <laughs> it's not easy at all. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank Tell me about this business. Okay, it's actually a sachet water company, company. business. Yeah. I see that it says EBI. EBI. Emilia. Yeah. yeah. EBI. So on a, on a regular day, that's what you do? Like yes. every day? Yes. If I'm not on set, if I'm not doing any TV or any ambassadorial deal, this is where I am. I'll wake up early, like 5.30, send my son to school, and then I come here. Yes. And these ones, there are some um, leakages and all that. Okay. So you select, you clean, and you red mark them. Okay. So that it will be neatly packed. Huh. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. um, take me around. Okay, there's machine one, machine two, machine three. Is there like a difference? Machine four. Oh, there's a machine four here. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like, what's the difference? Between the machine Not, one and two. All the machines are doing the same, same. job. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that is the reverse osmosis. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, when we go outside, we will see so many tanks over there. We have three tanks, one for the raw water and one for filtration. Oh. So after the filtration, we will pass through that process and come to the reverse osmosis okay. and it goes through the sand, carbon, iron exchange, everything and then it goes all the way and then it comes, comes into, into the, the machine. machine.
have here. Very beautiful place. So many laurels. Thank you. And okay, this is right. Okay, you won. This is the best uh, time Ghana Art and Entertainment Awards, third edition, 2021, Entrepreneur of the Year to Emilia Broby. Right. I now understand why they gave you Entrepreneur of the Year. We <laughs> just, you know, got off your um, factory. Wow. You know, I'm emotional a bit about really you know, yeah the whole you know you see so sometimes uh, you meet somebody right. and the energy you get with the person mm -hmm. you, you, you just give the, the energy back but you know before I mean we start our conversation um, we both have at, at least one two things in common you're beautiful and beautiful thank you you um, Apart from being an actress, I'm not an actress. People think that I should become an actress someday, but uh, you've been an actress. You're, uh, you've been a teacher before, right? And and now an entrepreneur, right? You also have something else, Okuku uh, Sekusho, right? So you double as uh, a presenter, right? Producer presenter. Right. So um, as we do on the show, we introduce the show. Uh, then we have, you know, the conversation. So, well, if you can, do me the honors to introduce eVibes to, you know, the rest of the world. We can have our conversation. <laughs> Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to eVibes. This is where we get a chance to celebrate people who have actually impacted on the society. Yes. Yay. My name is Emilia Brube, and I am in my studio, Stats Media, and Miss Bex is right here. I don't know why I even allowed her to come. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to E Vibes. Thank you so much. That was, you know, wonderful. Welcome to E Vibes. Thank Welcome you. to uh, uh, your studio. Well, Thank I you. I feel like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot of things that you've done. Um, coming here uh, together with my team, I've uh, noticed a lot of things. Um, not to s just to start with the laurels, like it's all over the place. Uh, you've won so many awards for your contribution to uh, the Ghanaian entertainment industry. Um, your story, I'm sure you've listened to a lot of people's story right here on your Okukuseku uh, show, but we, we you haven't really told your story uh, to the rest of the world. We've read. Oh, she was once a people teach, teacher. She left and, you know, came to Kumawood and she's an actress. Oh, she's like that. A lot of things ha has been said about Emilia Broby and the brand. Um, what is your story? I mean, who uh, is this Emilia at a younger age, you know, when, when, when you started? Okay, so I was born and bred in Achim Swedru in the eastern region. Okay. Uh, my mom and dad hail from Achim Swedro as well. Growing up, it wasn't easy. Um, I remember this, the first time I'm saying this, um, growing up, my mom used to sell rice, the local rice. Mm -hmm. I mean, she would travel, go by the canon through the water, get the rice and come back with the last bus. You know the bus made with wood? Yes. Bone shaker. Bone shaker, oh, right. Yeah. So when she comes back from that village, um, I would have to go to school. Mm. When I close from school, I would need to go to the market okay. to sell some of help, the rice. Help out. Yes. And then it will put it in a pan with a margarine cup on it, and I will put it on my head and then go around. go around, come back home, come and pound fufu. In the evening, I'll have to do a lantern. I didn't get a chance to get. Um, fluorescent or bulbs or electricity. There electricity. was no electricity in my house at, time. Yeah. at that time. So pounding fufu, everything, washing utensils, and then I would light my lantern and I would learn. Sometimes I would go and sell kerosene because mm. I want to get the profit so that the next day, uh, other than that, what my mom would give me would not add up to what I, I have to spend at school. Mm. Sometimes during break, I'll just be at my corner because I'll see some kids enjoying buying kinky with a lot of fish and all that. Me, me see can answer me, yeah. you know. The sad part of my story and growing up is that mm. where we were living, um, it was a netidine. A clay uh, oh. madhouse. Right. Yeah. 
and then the roofing um, the roofing sheets the uh, there are holes in it i don't know how mm. to so when it's raining my mom's before. rice is at one corner uh, the, the bed is at one corner so i have to rush to the kitchen get some saucepans and put it where the water will be dripping because we are rather protecting the, the rice. rice instead of protecting yes. where you will sleep yes I, I am saying this not because i want my parents or my mom to feel bad because i've not said it on any platform no, they have to do what they have to do to it, take care of yes you. So, and, and anytime my mom will buy clothes for the funeral or church, she will give me that one piece to, to, to sew a dress. I mean, oh, she, so. she's, she's been so there for me. She's mm. been there for me. I'm, I'm even getting emotional. I so, am. You are getting me emotional. Um, when I don't want it to rain at that time because yeah. whenever it rains, yeah. that, you know. So, growing up wasn't easy to cut it short. Yeah difficult and, and i will have to go to the farm in suba mr sun suno earth yeah. so i need to jump into my grandma's pan the one mm. we used to carry the fire because uh, yeah, i'm yeah, you're scared not, you're not you know i've been through a lot sweja so many miles to get home i i've been through a lot were you the only child um you know at that time i was the only girl in the family because my mom had only me before i mean but then my dad had traveled to um, Cote d'Ivoire after so many years to, to and then so it took some few years before my dad came wow. in to support and I got all that good education mm. get the chance to go to secondary school, school go to training college go to Gempa uh, yeah wow mm. wow but for my Gempa fees at that time it was thousand dollars per semester my dad was paying that helped he's, you out yes he's been a great man so well he came back he helped he, out yeah uh, yeah it's not like he totally left you yeah but congratulations to you and god Thank bless you. your mom for yeah. you know bringing you to yeah. to to the world yeah but you so the, the transition from the, you decided to become a people teacher. well i i realized that where i'm coming from i'm not getting the privileges that um others are having so yeah. i would have to study hard mm. so no matter the house chores i do i'll make sure make that in time. the evening i will make time and learn mm. so I, I i i said okay my parents or my family didn't get a chance to enjoy the good things in life mm. i will learn hard and along the line make them feel that so yeah. i decided to go to the training college even when I started training college, at some point, I got pregnant. I want to tell the younger ones that if you are not there yet, don't make the mistake to get pregnant whilst you are going to school. Mm. It's not a good thing. It could deprive you from so many things. Mm. Yes. I don't want them to feel like you had a baby and you've made it. No. If I am to go back again, you I won't, won't repeat that repeat mistake. That mistake. I'm not saying it's a mistake having yeah. my son, of but, course, of course. but I won't advise any student to, to go through that. Mm. So after training college, I said, no, looking at where I'm coming from, I need to learn harder. So I will further. And then I went to Gempa to do human resource management and got my bachelor's degree from there. Wow. Mm. Well, if this story doesn't inspire you. <laughs> and then, so, you know, for, for the many Ghanaians, we know you as actress Emilia Broby. Right. And you have done a lot. Thank you. The laurels speak for itself. I'll, I'll take you round, or you will take me round uh, eventually when we're uh, done with this conversation. But, so let's talk about acting. Right. Um, it's very difficult well this is my personal thing it's very difficult to move from a paying job a, a monthly paying job uh to just you know go follow some passion that you don't even know whether it will yield and you decided to take that step what motivated that particular step to move <sighs> hmm. it, it's it, it's really i don't even get to understand myself why i took i call it risk because at that time, acting was not paying like today. Mm. But I don't know. I, I think I followed my passion. 
and every step I take, I pray about it. So I prayed that, Lord, I love this. And to, to cut in, when I was young, yeah. I used to recite poems at um, funerals and all okay. that. So okay. I think that is where the exposure, the courage and everything mm. came from. So I knew that the actor that I'm getting involved, I, it's I, meant to be sort of yes yeah yes you, so you, you had it in there yeah there's one thing with me if i want to do this i don't want a shortcut you i want to go. to go straight get into it and learn on the job mm. so i said okay i can't be leaving pupils in the classroom i mean being absent mm. here and there so my certificate i can come back for it and go back to the classroom so I wrote to GES Accountant General to hold my pay. Oh. So it wasn't like I was acting and collecting salary every month. No. Uh -huh. So I said, okay, let me go and try. I really want to do this. Because the acting to you always need to be there for rehearsals. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, to yeah. But with the teaching, I can always come back come to back. it. So I took that bold decision and that risk. And then I started acting in 2000. And one 2002 and today we're here with uh, you know lots of awards uh, people when when you listen to the, the people we spoke to earlier and they they, they they love you they love you for your thank music you. also right uh, thank they you love you for particularly the the, the movies thank when you, you started back in 2001 2002 uh, which movie would you say that will be your big break uh, in Nyami Sumpuni. Nyami Sumpuni, I did it with a Jaco and Mac Ma Brown, and I was that time I was cute, I was slim, and I was You're so cute. cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just passing by, and there was a particular scene, and uh, Jaco was like, "Hey, my ma shell, or something." I'm like, "When you see a wood shell or bar." I dream bonny dear, you know, a chess I won in a doubt say, Hey, and the old dear may ne wada may macra or because me show papa, you know. Yeah. So it became talk of town and ever who is that dark skin girl, yeah. you know, and I think that, that it was, was from it. miracle films, yeah. Of course you didn't you don't have any regrets because you're still not at all. You uh, I mean with your career and what you've achieved with the movie the movies and, and all that, uh, what, what, what do you make of, of the industry? It's a great place to be. It's a, it's a great space. It will only be a great space if you are passionate about the acting mm. and if you be serious with it and if you look at the business aspect of it. I act because I love acting, but mm. I act because I want to make money out of it. Mm. And I act because um, I think it's a space that we get the chance to let people laugh. We get the chance to educate them. Mm. We, we get a chance to, to let them know that in this world, whatever you are watching on TV or whatever movie you are watching, it is supposed to teach you a lesson. Mm. Do you believe that you're a great actress, you know, personally when you look, because, well, uh, all these things are sh uh, they, they, they are a testament that you are they've recognized you but yourself because the way people talk about you oh, oh moving oh, oh China I say oh no name the oh, yeah or oh, trying to say you're yeah, real you know because we know that is make-believe but personally when you when you sit back and you think about you as an actress what do you make of yourself well like I said I am passionate about everything I do. So when I get a role, what comes into my mind first is I need to make them believe. Mm. Two, I have abandoned one career. I need to do it and do it Focus. well so that I can make that impact. So if I have to cry, I need to make you the viewer or the person watching the movie drop tears so that you don't know, yeah. know. So it should leave something in your head. Mm. Uh -huh. So I need to make it happen. 
that is when other opportunities will come. will come. That is when I will get more recommendations to appear in more movies. No, you've gotten loads of recommendations, yes, I'm sure. And yes. you're still getting... Yes. So we're stuck with the movies. We're not going back to uh, teaching? Um, to me, I don't think I'm going back to the classroom in any moment. Okay. But never say never. Mm -hmm. Anytime at all, I can. But... I think I am still teaching through my talk shows and through the movies and even through the singing because it's a way of communication. So I am still teaching because you will watch the talk show and you will learn. Mm. And people sit in the classroom and learn. And learn. Yes. Is that the reason why you had the, the talk show? Yes, because I feel like... What, what is it about, you know, for the benefit well, it's of... Well, about, it's about Okuku Seku, the talk show... I mean, it's on Adum TV, TV every Saturday. Our sister station. Yes, 4.30 p.m. And it's about betrayals. Mm. It's about being careful about your fellow uh, man okay. or human. Yes. We don't do that to disgrace somebody or mm. to, 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 to make someone go wild. And, hey, this story is about me. No. We do that so that we will be each other's keeper mm. so that you'll be careful that, okay, I need to talk at this moment. I need to shut up at this moment because sometimes your own tongue will make someone betray you. Mm. If you don't give the person that chance, mm. that one, there are certain things you need to keep to yourself. Mm. Other than that, it will be okukusiku in your life. So it's just about being careful about. so that you live long. You won't find yourself in any trouble. You won't mm. feel like someone betrayed you. Yeah. So it's about being each other's keeper. That's what the show is about. So you sat down, you thought about, you know, um, betrayal. Right. Have you ever been betrayed before? Of course, several times. Miss Bex, you've been betrayed before. Well. I uh, know. So many times. You're, yes. you're trying to get me to, to tell <laughs> my story. <laughs> No, that one will be on my show. Oh, this well, is your well, show. We're doing it. We're, we're doing it now. We're, we're actually sitting on your set for, for the records. We are sitting yeah, so on your set. Yeah, so many Yeah, materials. so you decided that you want to... You know, um, one thing that I have noticed is that it's very difficult uh, for us as Ghanaians, right. especially our descent, uh, to have conversations, like real-time conversations about things that are bothering us. So, and, and we don't, we almost all the time don't, don't talk about those things. And how is it going? Do we, are, are they really opening up the people you have on, on your show? Yes. It's going well? It's going so, so well. We've had the show for like three years, getting to four years. And there are even some stories, either they will call me back to stop, uh, to, 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 not to, not to air, show yeah. it. Not to air it because it's so deep and there are some we need to cover the person's face because they feel like I need to share it so that someone will be a victim. Mm. Real stories. So to the many Ghanaians who, you know, people have uh, uh, varied opinions about so many things. Somebody sits on your show and they talk about maybe somebody betraying them and all of that. It goes out there. People sometimes attack them maybe the other um, some even attack me you know and yeah. all of that and what advice uh, would you or what would you want Ghanaians or people who watch your show to understand really about uh, the message that you're trying to put out with uh, the show well Kukusipo? my message is simple the show we don't air it because we, we want to get attacked or we want to hurt someone's feelings or we want to put someone's business out there no oh. the aim is for us to not repeat whatever act we are in again and to, to be careful about life. Mm. What will be your uh, biggest life um, advice to you know people? You've lived life. Yeah. You've you've seen that. Yeah. You've you 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 I've been there. I've you've seen been, it all. You, you have. Yeah. So uh, to you know people who keeping something that you think you cherish to yourself mm. yes keeping something you think you cherish to yourself mm. and tr and then minding your, your own business. business okay yes but i can't mind my business right now yes sometimes you can't you can mind someone's business but you should have a limit you don't okay. go that is my personal advice to whoever is watching that yeah. i mean if you if you cherish something don't put it out there Keep it in your corner, try and protect it. 
two, mind your business. Sometimes, kokonsaka crap, but know the limits. Yeah. If you go in too much, you, you, you get into trouble. Mm. But I don't want to mind my business. I want to business okay <laughs> which, go ahead yeah so i mean so apart from acting uh you're an entrepreneur as right. well i've seen your your place Pure water yeah, factory. You, i have two. Oh, you, you do yes. so this is like just one yes that you showed yes me. i started one in 2017 it's start eyes mineral water it's a joint business okay it's a tafu in Shire, so in kumasi here i started as 2017 and it's now doing so well why why i mean because if the movies are uh, movie mo the movies okay this is, is what happened you know at some point we were not being called we we're not being given scripts mm. the, the industry was so down mm. uh, so i'm like okay what can i do that was when the pure water started so i had a friend in sunyai he's called fred network drinking water he actually told me that amelia I mean, to pure water. Mm. So you can actually come on board. Really? How can I say you can't? Save some money. Get some machines. Then you know that this is what you have to do. So whenever you get money, you won't misuse it. So lo and behold, I bought the machines and wow. everything. So then it was left with the factory. Movies are not coming. I'm not getting money. So mm -hmm. I got a partner and then together we, we built the, the Pure Water Factory since 2017 to date. And it's, and doing, it's doing so well. so well. It doesn't really need any adverts for now. It's that tough wind share. So, so Why? It doesn't need adverts because you don't want to use me as the <laughs> ambassador. ambassador. <laughs> I'll use you. Don't worry. <laughs> of course, my picture is on it and it's all about so, um, yeah. It's doing so well and I want to thank Ghanaians and especially mm. people in Kumasi and its environs because mm. they just accepted statized mineral water. Yeah. yeah. So in about two years, I'm like, okay, that is around Tafun Shire, so the area. Yeah. So let me do something around my house. Yeah. So I got ABI's mineral water. You see, it was yang, and it was me, and it different. And then, I, I, what I don't like is being their idol without doing, doing anything. anything. I always want my mind to be occupied with business. Okay. So I decided to get another branch here, but then with EBI's EB mineral water. water. So that one is a partnered business, and this and one this is, is for me. Personal. Personal, yes. So because you don't want to um, be idle and not do anything, yes. you ventured, first of all, uh, into um, movies, right? then uh, entrepreneurship, the, the pure water. And, and now you're venturing into... Yes, the pure into water even came in before Kuku Sekude talk show. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, there's a talk show. Right. There's a talk show. There's, there's, there's a pure water business. There's still acting. Yeah. And there's music. Yes. Music and ambassadorial deals too. Well, Influencing yeah. brands. That one, I mean, you're a superstar. Anybody would want to associate right. everybody. But the music, really. Mm. Remember Famico mm -hmm. when when it came out. The bashing, the trolls. Yeah. And uh, well, first of all, Miss Bess, it was sad. Yeah. Yeah. You cried. Mm -hmm. But what inspired the decision to? go into music because you have all these you know people don't really get it people are so confused about Emilia Bobby don't be confused okay music is part of acting mm -hmm. doing a talk show is part of acting okay. Miss Beggs you are a great actress if you don't know wow. you just acted <laughs> so I won't be surprised to see you on a movie set why should I I mean, throw Miss Bex when I see her in movies. Mm. So why should you throw Emilia Bobe? Okay, this is... Initially, I was crying and my manager was like, Emilia, this is showbiz. You don't get it. You've not done anything wrong. They know Emilia, the actress. They don't know Emilia, the musician. musician. So throw it behind you. And if it's about you, if you think that is what you want, go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm like, I can't stop it. I love it. Say, go ahead. So, Bullet came in with Odor Electric with Wendy Shea. Yeah. 
Prince Bright came in with the Family Core remix. Kwame yeah. UJ came Kwame in with Yeah. And, and then I did Amelia, my single. So I'm not stopping and I won't stop. Okay. Unstoppable. Oh, I'm touched. <laughs> Can we go yeah. for a break now before I, I cry? Yeah. We'll come back soon. <laughs> So uh, you're still here on the e -Vibe show with me, Becky, the beautiful Emilia Brobe is here. I had to, you know, take a short break because I was getting emotional. I don't know why. Maybe there's something about the seats that gets people emotional. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You, I'm sure maybe my story touched yeah, you. Yeah, yeah because you don't, maybe never... you don't see why they should treat me that way because mm -hmm. I brought out a song. <laughs> Yeah, they were insulting oh, yeah, I, me. I, I personally, I, I, I'm sort of in the public eye, but I, I'm not too. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like too many people in my business and all that. So I felt it when you had to be on the chopping board, and everybody, you know, saying what they like. Some meant, you know, good. Do you know that it got to a point? If I post on Instagram or Facebook. Especially Instagram, I need to mute. I need to, um, what do you call it? Uh, Lock uh, the comments. Yeah, uh, dis, dis, yeah, yeah, disable the comments. Disable the comment because someone will write a comment, and you might, you might be forced to send a reply. Mm. But of course, they are my fans. They love me, so I can't base on maybe someone's comment yeah. and reply. I mean. So I said, okay, you guys, just go on. Is, is that your way of dealing with negativity or negative yeah, yeah, yeah. energy? If you, you don't write, just... if you write anything negative on my post, I will just delete it. If I need to reply you, I barely reply, but mm. sometimes I will just reply you. If I see that you've, you've, you've read, I will just delete, delete it because I want to send my message across. I want them to feel like we are humans. Yeah. We make mistakes, even mm. if I've done a song and you think it's not good. It's like stages in life. Mm. You crawl, you walk, you run. So if a maker is class one, a dollar can be class two. two. Remix can be class three. Kwame Eugene, class four. And Amelia, class five. Yeah. Very soon, it keeps, graduate. It keeps, so they should run along with it. It keeps getting I won't better. Stop. So when will you stop? Then? I won't. Eventually. No way. Wow. You know what, Miss Bex? If you are meant to do something and people try to discourage you mm. and you stop, it means you don't even know what you're doing. Mm. Yes, you yourself. You do, but if you know what you're doing, if you know the benefits, yeah, you continue. You need to strengthen yourself because mm. you don't need someone to come and. And the song is not as if everybody says. Yeah. At Just some point, I was confused. I'm like, ah. But then when I have the likes of Okriku Mante, Ochiami Kwame, yeah. and other people, Fredima, those who know music, and they're yeah. like, this is pure high life. I'm like, OK. So yeah. they are experts in music. So it's just you're, that maybe one or two people spike something negative. Yeah. And, yeah, so. But uh, apart from, you know, all the th trolls that uh, you've received, I know that uh, you've gone through so many phases in this right. industry right. and the negative ones. Right. Uh, we don't want to go back to right. all. How do you handle all those, you know, during those times that uh, um, you have people trolling you or people um, spewing lies about you some of some of them you don't because you don't talk about it or you don't yeah. come out to say anything right sometimes people you know take it in they think that well that's that's it okay this is what happens sometimes yeah when those rumors or false informations come out mm. i have family mm. they'll go like i know it's difficult I know you want to defend yourself, mm. but just be quiet. And let it go. And then let it go. At the right time, if you feel like you are in your right emotions and you want to address it, you go ahead. But then, we love you. Mm. We know you better. We know it's not true. So just be quiet and be at your corner. 
and then one of them will go like imagine you are taking your shower with your clothes being there as a gate or something and a madman mad man comes man, to yeah. pick it you and you run it? after the madman both of you are mad so like okay it makes sense let me just be quiet because no matter the explanation you give and until they tell me that okay emilia killed somebody mm. that one is a murder case yeah so we I'll come defend. out and defend myself. But I'm not used to replying everything Every. someone comes out there to say about me. Yeah. Is that how you've been able to stay, you know, relevant and stay on top till till now? Well, I do care a lot about the love that my fans show me. So sometimes when there is an issue, I don't even talk. They come out like soldiers. And they will, they will just defend me. So far as I'm being loved, and they defend me, and I know that whatever they are saying is not true. I, for a couple of days, maybe a day or two, mm. um, I will be, I'll be hurt. I'll be yeah. so emotional. Just Sometimes human. I will just cry because I, I don't get it. Until someone will tell me, Amelia, you are not just an ordinary person. So for us, you have the name, and the name is everywhere. It's the mm. same way when you have any issue, it will be everywhere. So get used to it. Mm. I'm like, okay. I'll just be a man corner, man. Me any pal. So they don't know me any pal, you know. You didn't know what you signed up for when you decided I to tell be a you. I tell you. But how do you handle fame? Well, I handle it coolly. Miss Bex, I'm, I'm just that person that... If you see what I have, you've seen it. But if you don't... And she has a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot of things. Like, she won't take us to a house. Actually, the houses are different. We have, like... Mm -hmm. being calm, we have, like, five houses. But she doesn't want it on television. Reason why we couldn't take you there, but... So, um, I just love to be at my corner. corner. If you get to know what I have, fine. If you don't... Uh, um, I, uh, you, you won't throw it in our I faces. won't throw it anywhere because I know, okay, where my houses are, people live there, they know it's my house. Yeah. They are my houses. Yeah. So why should I talk, you know? So I'm just cool. I, I'm, I'm just there. I'm just there. What would be your toughest, you know, moment in your career? You know, the whole spanning from being a teacher, uh, movie actress, um, you have a business, you know, you're running, you have a show that you're running, and also you have a music career. Okay. A baby music career. A baby, yes. Yeah. Is it crutch or kindergarten? Oh, now uh, we're in primary school. Thank you. We're in primary school. <laughs> we'll have a conversation when you graduate. I'll personally have a conversation with you. You come back here, we have a conversation about <laughs> your graduation. <laughs> So, so what would so, so during you know all, all these while, what would be like uh, Emilia's toughest moment in my career? Yeah, the whole the whole time. Just, okay, if know, I won't get a chance to be in front of the camera anymore, that will yeah. But have you been hurt? Like, I mean, during. Not after because you're still you're still I'm still you know, in it. Yeah, you're still here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been hurt several times. Yeah. But the reason why I don't really want to talk about people who have hurt me or put me through so much is that I know one thing in this world. Mm. I might hurt someone or I might have hurt someone before. I yeah. I might not know or I may know. So there is no point coming to watch that person's dirty living in public. Mm. I think it's, it's gone. It's, it, it has occurred. It's passed and gone. Mm. I thank God that I am still alive because no one has actually attacked me. So I don't see the point in attacking Something someone else. else. So nature should just handle it. That is how I live my life. Sometimes people are like, Amelia, you won't talk. You won't talk. You have to. People who think you are soft and all that. I'm like, they don't understand me. I understand myself. So. I might have hurt someone in one way or the other. That mm. is fine. Secondly, leave nature to handle it. Because I know we have karma as well. What yeah. goes around comes around. So wow. I just try my best to relax 
if you hurt me today and the next day you walk up to me that Emilia, this is what I did. I think it wasn't cool. I'm sorry. I just accept it. I'll just be careful. That's all because um, so me, I don't hold any grudge against anybody. Mm. I, I feel happy within my own space. space. Wow. From Fame called now to Emilia, all the storylines are love story mm. uh, centered. Mm. So why are you in love or something? Or have you ever? Well, of course, you've been in love. Love before. is a beautiful thing. Uh -huh. I'm listening. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so for those of us who have never been in love before, you are, can please. you share? Ah. Me? Mm. That's, I, mean, I don't have anybody that I'm in love with. Mm. Well, have you ever fallen in love with somebody that you think that you have to work like extremely harder to get as a woman? Mm. Like, you know that this person, mm -hmm. I say, he's big. Like he's not your type, sort of. Like you sort of look down on yourself. No, I've not. That's a personal question, actually. Um, I've not really met that before, but I've not met that before. Oh. Okay, I'm that type of person. You, you want to get into my love life. I'm the oh, that's, that's what we're <laughs> talking about. I'm the kind of person that if I am so much into you, I'll just do anything you ask me to do. I'll just give you that respect and that love. That's me. So is there somebody And when I'm done, I'm done. Is there somebody that you're respecting of and doing anything for? Of course. Oh, okay. You expect me to be single? No, of course not. Hey. Uh, of course not. Miss Bex. Okay. You want to see him? No, no, it's okay. okay. Well, Should I mention his name? Of course, his name uh, is okay. Of course. No, you can say maybe Kwame, Kofi. No, everybody's Kwame, everybody's Kofi, everybody's... So, or your coffee and that's all your coffee. That food for a while. You mm -hmm. But you don't want to know about me, me buy, uh, yeah. You see, I'd wanted. Me I'd bad wanted. Joy. Me bad joy, I become <laughs> I'd wanted to tell you about my love life. So hey. can you tell me? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I don't. Uh, but you're not telling me anything. I'll tell you at the right time. For your contribution to uh, uh, showbiz in Ghana, mm. I know that. Well, first of all, do do you feel like undermined? Do you feel that like you have you haven't been celebrated enough? No. I feel guilty. Really? You know why? Why? Because I well, I've been in this industry, you know, f far too long to know um, all the things that all all uh, entertainers are doing. But until uh, from the moment I walked in here, saw all these the, the laurels here and you know all the um, citations and the businesses you're doing and speaking to people i felt so guilty about not paying attention we have you know i mean there's a lot of you in the industry but not paying attention to the brand um emilia broby that's that's me and i apologize you've forgiven me it's but okay. personally uh, do you feel that? Do you feel the same way that, uh, say, the media or uh, maybe your fans, they, they, they appreciate you, but do you, do you think that we haven't celebrated you enough? Uh, Ms. Bex, I told you earlier that uh, I, I don't need um, everybody to come tell, oh, Emilia, so you have this. Uh, no, I'm just comfortable in my own space. Um, if you get celebrated, fine. Fine, if, if I don't find it. Uh, what I, I, I feel happy about is getting to the end of the month, I get a chance to pay my workers and they are happy. That is it. That is the only thing I can do to give back to society. society. Employing the boys, paying them at the end of the month. Their mothers are happy, renting for workers. Yeah, so it's enough. They should, they should be happy and that is fine it's not about the media <laughs> celebrating me or something yeah i know yeah that's me you see how she's she, she's talking she's saying that she's thinking about paying me can i pay can yes, i pay yes. so i'm even i'm even shy of oh, you know the, the small gifts that <laughs> oh. I, I i have for no 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 for let me tell you one thing let me tell you one thing can you give me that that the miss bex i save little by little put them together to establish a business. So I want to encourage whoever is watching me that if you want to start a business, it's not always about 
starting very big, mm. you start Small. from somewhere. Because, you know, as I told you, beginning, I did partnership. Then With, eventually, yeah, eventually. I, I did my own. So life, we don't start it so big. Hey! So I have this. I was even hey. wondering. I was even wondering if uh, she will accept it. Oh, come on! But I know that you little very drops good. of water. Making and this is. Much. I don't even know what it is, but the thought of it Aww. of getting me a gift. <laughs> you want to make me cry? No, no, no. The thought of it. Trust yeah. me. Yes. So this this is something small from us, uh, mm. provided by Tienda Life. Thank oh. you, Tienda Life. Tienda Life. Yeah. So Ooh. it's it's that's that's it. You don't necessarily have to. If you want, you can open it. Okay. Let's show it to the. No. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm thanking you before I open it. Oh. And yes, I'm be so not my facial expressions. I just I didn't. 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 Thinking about me, oh. bringing me a gift alone. No, I, I, I thought about you because, I wow. mean, it's not everybody who will pick your call. Hey. Who will, oh, no, no, we can just okay. shift it so that. Oh, wow. These are my favorites. Aww. Yes, I love body lotion. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's okay, don't show the whole thing hey, to everybody. Are you sure? I don't want Ghanaians to please. Ghanaians to throw me. Please, they won't. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, oh, please. Yeah. Ah. And your studio is nice. You should be wearing this in yes, your studio. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you, Miss Bex. Ah. And I, because I don't know your color, I. Hey, every lady the, likes pink. pink. Please. Yeah. Please. Well, please. you need to give us an, a, 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 a baby girl. Since we have a boy. How did you know that I would love a girl? Yeah, because you have a boy and I have I, two I think boys and I would love a girl. You see? I would love a girl. We need a last boy. Please, mister, if you're listening, I need a girl. Hey, thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm excited that Aww. she's excited. Um she almost got me emotional but thank god <laughs> i didn't cry on this set but uh for those of you who uh, still uh, don't know emilia probably yet you should you know go check her music out i know that we didn't talk about the inspiration behind your new song okay my new song emilia actually i got the inspiration from nana kwami and pedu the late okay he's so rest in perfect peace um i went to him and then um Kwame Eugene suggested I use my name. Yeah, for he my actually produced the song. Yes. For my <sighs> let me smell that. Hmm. You can't smell oh it. I say when we jarry ye be be you know not a very mm -hmm. delicate, mm -hmm. you know, for your skin. Your no, skin we're not too nice. handbag. And and she has a very beautiful skin. Oh. I mean, for <laughs> those of you who haven't seen her like personally before, I'm just telling you. Just, Thank you. Just so you know the details. <laughs> it's so, just all by wash <laughs> Yeah, show us actually TV. That's not what TV is. So, and that's that's the music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got the inspiration from uh, Nana, Nana Kwame and Pedu may his so rest in perfect. I went to his house mm. with my team, and I told Nana, I'm bringing up a song with uh, the name Emilia, my name, and I know you have something like that. So we just want to bite the Emilia bit. It's Emilia. Yeah. I even want to act with you. I like you. Aww. Forget what Kanisa is saying about your high life song. You are the next Irama Bedu. Take the whole song. You can take it. I'm like, oh. oh my God. So that's where the inspiration came, came from. And it's doing well. So well. Okay. It's on YouTube. The channel is Emilius R. Emilius R. You subscribe and then you watch. You watch and then it. the audio is on all digital platforms. Yes. How much did you spend, you know, shooting this, this music video? Well, I spent a lot talking about costumes, hair, makeup and all that. I spent a lot, but it's fine. It's worth it. Do you want to? You no, know, no, 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 at all. Somebody said that. Well, it's okay. <laughs> well, that's all for our show today. Um, the next thing you'll be seeing is uh, us taking all these. I, I want to be sure uh, to give you everything. So we're taking everything for you. All the awards. A draw song. Or see if you cry with me. We'll come back again sometime soon.
I hope you loved the conversation. I hope you've been entertained. I hope you've been informed and most importantly, been inspired by uh, actress, entrepreneur and singer, Amelia Broby. And we'll be back. Thank you.